We are celebrating National Bird Day on this snowy and windy January, and we are indoors today at Wildside Rehabilitation and Education Center, and I'm with Louise Sagard, who is the Executive Director. Uh, last time I was here, we had an eventful time we did. with one of the birds, and this maybe is the reason why I'm hiding behind the gate, but no. Uh, first of all, for people that don't know what Wildside Rehab and Education Center is all about, this is a very important center, and tell us about it. Wildside has been around 27 years and we are a rehabilitation center for wild animals in the mid-Michigan Lansing area. Uh, we admit almost every animal and if we can't help you we can certainly, certainly find someone who can. So right now we're in a room with hawks, owls um, and other birds of prey and we also take in mammals. We currently have beavers, um, some squirrels, many opossums, and right. some rabbits that we're taking care of. Right, and, and of course a lot of different birds here. We've got bald eagles here. We do have yeah. four bald eagles on the premises. Yeah, and if people want to help donate, maybe time, maybe money, how do they do that here to help out Wildside Rehab? They can certainly contact us, uh, contact us on Facebook. Um, if you just Google us, our phone number, we're happy to talk to people during the day. Mm -hmm. um, my email is on Google also if people email me. Um, we have a wish list on our website, and we're always looking for volunteers. All right, well, let's get to know this bird because we've got Jesse, the handler here, uh, helping us out. Uh, he's he's mm -hmm. well-equipped and protected. So tell me about the, the bird that we have here, Louise. Sure, this is a red-tailed hawk. Her name is Artemis. Um, we don't know how old she is because she came to us as an adult. She has an injured wing. Her left wing um, has been left flightless so she doesn't fly out in the wild. She spends time with us and spends time at education programs. Um, Jessie has been working with her for a little while um, along with some other trainers and um, she weighs about mm, a pound and a half, two pounds on a good day. She'd probably like to weigh more. <laughs> uh, we feed them every day. Jessie has some food that he's going to try out with Artemis. Um, she originally came from Michigan State University and that's how we ended up with her. Um, again, she's a red-tailed hawk, and most of the time out in the field, you can actually see the red tails on them. Right. It's kind of an orangish red. Okay. Um, that's why we call them red-tailed hawks. Um, very good hunters out in the wild. Very prolific bird in Michigan. You can see them on lots of fence posts, lots of wires, lots of trees. Just have to drive down 96 or any major highway, and there they are looking for food in the field. And the ultimate goal here at Wildside is to rehabilitate them so they can go back into the wilderness, right? It is. So what do you have expected for this particular bird? For I mean, Artemis, we know that she will never be releasable. Her wing okay. is in the, a position that doesn't allow her to fly. So we okay. use her for education programs and to okay. teach people about red-tailed hawks and about other Michigan wildlife, other hawks and owls in Michigan, and um, try to get people to understand them and help protect them. Okay. Let me ask you, I think... This is your favorite bird, but I, which which is your favorite bird it's out here? Actually, great horned owls are my okay. favorite, and okay. probably because I've had a great horned owl for almost thirty three years now. Okay. She's been with us. She's been with me that long. Has been at the center for twenty seven years, and at a center before um, I started Wildside, she was with me there also. Okay. So probably great horned owls. Um, I definitely have an affinity for raptors in general. So hawks, owls, falcons, eagles. Vultures are definitely my favorite species. All right. They really run close to beavers because I love North American beavers too. <laughs> but it's not their day. So. It's not their day. <laughs> okay. Today is bird day. Exactly. And we'll have some owls, spoiler alert, coming up uh, later in the show here on Studio. We are celebrating National Bird Day today at Wildside Rehabilitation and Education Center in Eaton Rapids. And I'm with Louise Sager, who is the executive director. And I have been told to not flail my arms and talk with my arms. So I'm going to keep them right like this. And the reason why is because we've got a special guest with us. Tell us about our special we, guest. We do. First of all, the handler is Darlene, and we have a Merlin with us. Her name is Miss Merlin. We were not creative with the name. Um, <laughs> she is a falcon. Uh, she is a threatened species in Michigan. We do not see a lot of um, Merlins come into rehabilitation. They're usually forest birds, so by the time anything happens to them, people just aren't finding them. So she actually came to us and had a severely broken wing, took her to Michigan State University to have her wing fixed. Unfortunately, they could not fix the wing and decided to remove the wing, which is highly unusual. Um, they later asked for permission to do that and got permission, thank goodness, and we were able to take her back and now she's used as an educational ambassador. So she's doing a great job sitting on Darlene's Yes, fist. she is, yes. Um, she eats small mammals. She also will take birds in the wild. 
and she does educational programs with us. And she doesn't like sudden movements with arms, so that's why we're all just kind of, you know, just chilling out with Miss Merlin. Um, you were telling me too here at Wildside, you guys, if people don't know, you're a rehabilitation and education center, um, and so you use some of these birds to educate people um, on wildlife in Michigan. Mm -hmm. You were saying that the numbers have increased dramatically. Tell us about that. They have. 27 years ago, our first year was about 300 animals to rehabilitate. Last year in 2021, we rehabilitated 3,500 animals. In 2020, it was 2,500 animals. So every year has seen a huge increase um, as far as the number of people that are realizing we're here, people, I think, being outside more and realizing there's, that there's wildlife in need. Uh, we always ask for a call first so we can actually prompt the caller and the rescuer on how to rescue the animal and whether or not the animal really does need to be rescued. Um, we receive calls pretty much from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and are happy to talk to anybody about what they might find and whether or not it needs to come into rehabilitation. Do you have some tips for people that may be watching today and if they come across a hurt bird or a hurt animal, how they do that? Do they call you and just ask the simple question on what to do? or? That's typically what we do. Okay. Um, we get a lot of calls this time of year that people are driving by. It really is difficult for us to, to go to mile marker 69 <laughs> off of 96 yeah. uh, in the westbound lane. There happens to be a red-tailed hawk that's injured. We really need people to stay with that animal because by the time we get there out of Eaton Rapids, most of the time something's either happened to the animal devastatingly or the animal's not there anymore. Okay. So thank goodness we had a red-tailed hawk that um, someone was able to stay with. We were able to get it into rehabilitation. Um, hopefully it will be rehabilitated and released. All right, very good. And again, the Facebook page, you guys have a Facebook page. If people you know, want to find out more, they can go to the website as well and find out more on you know tips on there. I know you have tips we do. On, on what people should do. All right, well, we appreciate the information. Great sure. job, Miss Merlin. No one, no one got Upset. Uh, uh, upset. Yes, that's a good way of putting it, <laughs> Lois. Yeah. All right. Well, I've been working on this bird joke for a couple of days. Guess who's coming up next as we're celebrating National Bird Day? You guessed it. Stick around. We've got more fun coming up on Studio 10. Welcome back to Studio 10. We are on the road today for National Bird Day at Wildside Rehabilitation and Education Center in Eaton Rapids. And I'm with Louise Sagert, who is the Executive Director. And we've got a special guest behind us. Who is this joining we us? We do. This is Ripple. He is a barred owl. Uh, he's one of the many owls in Michigan. He is an owl that doesn't have any ear tufts on the top of his head, which is kind of unusual for owls. Um, he also has dark eyes, which is unusual. Most owls have the yellow eyes that's typical mm -hmm. that people think of when they think of owls. Um, he is not releasable. He also has a wing injury, so he's an educational bird that we use in education programs, either here or uh, outreach education programs. Um, he weighs about one and a half or two pounds. Um, he eats small mammals, birds. Mm -hmm. They actually love snakes and things in the water too. So, and Ripple, um, you named, you were telling me earlier that it's an ice cream theme. Which yes. Is how you came up so with So last one. year we tried to name anything that was a non-releasable and even some that were releasable, we uh -huh. would put names on, um, an ice cream theme. So it's Fudge Ripple or Chocolate <laughs> Ripple. We have Moose Tracks, we have Blue Moon. Uh, so we're not sure what 2022 will do for yeah. our theme, but we're going to change You'll it. be taking suggestions. We will. I'm sure, yeah. We will. So you have some interesting facts too when it comes to owls. A lot of interesting facts. Tell us about some I of those. I do. So owls do not move their eyes and their head. They're stationary. So their head has to move around. It's not 360 degrees, so they can't turn their heads completely around. They move them about 270 to 290 degrees. And he's watching my hand as I'm talking. <laughs> um, his feet are specialized hunting tools. And um, I don't know the pressure in his feet, but a great horned owl, which is a slightly bigger than a barred owl, has about 500, pres 500 pounds of pressure per square inch in their feet. Mm -hmm. So they use that for capturing and, and hunting prey. Um, again, he doesn't have ear tufts, so those are just for camouflage. Um, he does have fringe along his feathers, as all owls do, so they're silent flyers. Um, they use their ears, actually, more than their eyes to be able to hunt. 
Okay, so when we see the owls, and we saw it in the video, when we see them doing the full thing with their necks and everything, that's mm -hmm. not like, you know, humans trying to get that itch that we can't reach or anything. No. That's them just trying to get a good visual on something. Right, a that's... good visual and trying to hone in on their hearing. Sorry, <laughs> I just that heard was a... me. Okay, good. I heard a loud noise. Like, you know you, you know what happened the last time we was here. So I, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so again, we, we thank you, first of all, for letting us sure. come out for National Bird Day. We've, we've been checking the calendar for later on in the year when we can come back out again because Louise is a big fan of beaver. So we want to come out and celebrate those and we want to have some fun. Where can people again find out more if they want to if you you know You're always looking for financial donations and some volunteer help, right? Mm -hmm. Where can people yep. find out more? So we are on TikTok now So we have two videos on TikTok. So watch us there. We're on Instagram Facebook We have our own website. You can Google us and find us um, Please call us and ask any questions you have and we're happy to take volunteers. I'm so impressed You're on TikTok two we videos on TikTok brand new on TikTok everyone. <laughs> All right Well, thanks for having Having us out today. Thank you. No sudden movements, Louise. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, as we mentioned earlier, it's tough on humans. It's tough on birds. It's tough on everybody out there because it's cold and windy. And now we've got to check on your forecast.